Hi everyone, this is Frank Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. I want to talk about the IC7100 for mobile, in particular for POTA activations. POTA stands for Parks on the Air. It's an organization where they have designated parks where you can go to. Uh, there are more parks now all over the world actually. Uh, you go to the park, you set up your antenna, your radio, you contact 10 people, you activated the park. I live very close to a um, to a parks on the air uh, place, only about a mile and a half, and I've been going there a lot. And so it's it would be nice to just roll my car there, have the the antenna ready, and just you know turn something on and just activate the park for a lunchtime and then come back. Um, but that's a little bit challenging to do because. I gotta pack things very quickly, um, you know, and have things ready. It would be nice if things were already put together. Okay, 7100. What's so cool about it for POTA activations? Well, you can mount the 7100. Right now I'm using a Seahorse case at the moment. Um, 7100 is in two parts. The control head, which has a lot of buttons, you know, menu, um, the um, amplification, right, to amplify more, the mic gain, the power, a quick button so you can record. That's really nice. I, I do like it that you can record your conversations. Um, and it's really compact. Uh, compared to the IC7300, it's a much smaller unit. Uh, one thing it doesn't have, it doesn't have a tuner, which was a little disappointing. So I'm using the um, LG, LD, LDG Z100 Plus. Do you need a tuner? No. Why am I using a tuner? Well, I'm, I guess I'm getting a little more um, fixated in, in really, really squeezing efficiency. If the radio's impedance is at 50 and my antennas are giving me, you know, 25, uh, ohm impedance then you know it's not as efficient as I, it might be so I'm, I'm becoming more like okay let's see if we can squeeze something something more out of the radio and that's why it's there um, and you know the cool thing about the 7100 again it, it's it's in two parts so that you can hide <clears throat> your base on the bottom somewhere now some people think that the radio takes up too much juice uh, it's taking 70 milliamps. That's the, um, that's when I'm not transmitting, just listening. Uh, 70, 70 milliamps, sure, in 10 hours, it's 7 amps. Um, am I going to use the, uh, am I going to use the radio for 10 hours? Mm, unlikely. There might be some times when I might use the radio a little more. So I take out my solar panel, and I'll, I'll uh, today I brought my solar generator. So I can connect it to a solar panel, so I can talk more than ten hours. Um, so that that's there. You don't need to connect the seventy one hundred to the to the car's battery. Um, not a good idea either, because sometimes you get so like into the POTA activation, you might drain your battery. It hasn't happened to me yet because I don't I don't plug the battery, my car battery to the radio. I have before uh, when I didn't have a battery. So the, the battery that I use is the BioNO 1212A that gives me four, no, 12 amp hours or 144 watt hours. That's sufficient. I'll, I wouldn't put the radio all the way to 100%. Just lower it down to about 90 and you'll be fine. Um, the cool thing about the radio, it has an SWR um, meter so that if you look at your band, are you within you know 1.5 or below? which is really neat. It, it does have um, a, uh, a scope that tells you kind of like what's going on in, in the band. It's nothing like the 705. I think it's more useful for UHF, VHF. Um, the dials on the unit, um, you know, they're a little, you know, plasticky. I think the 705, um, even the FT857, I think those buttons are really nicer than this one. But 
I haven't heard any real issues in terms of the IC7100 like breaking down, right? It has a touch screen, which is really nice. So all you need to do is touch certain areas and it does what you think it will. That's a cool thing that the, a lot of the menu ideas were taken uh, and given to the 705 and the 7300 and more refined. I can see where it comes from. And it has all the meters that you want, right? The power meter, ALC, and, and, and such to, to give you a sense of, you know, if, you, if um, what's going on with your rig. The, the head um, has a quarter 20, which is really neat. And you can connect a lot of things to it. You can connect um, your microphone, uh, which, by the way, this one is not the microphone that comes with the radio. This one's the... Uh, uh, ICOM HM151, which is neat. You can type in your uh, your frequency, and then you can lock the radio and such. Uh, has, you, you can connect your headphones. Really important. Probably the number one important thing in POTA or mobile or anywhere is the headphones. You'll be surprised how much more contacts you can get. Uh, again, you can connect your, your microphone. And, of course, you need to connect... Uh, to the head. This is a shielded uh, cable, which is which is really neat, and it has another plug for for the key. You want to do CW, and of course, this radio is a shock in a box, which means it does uh, um, two meters, uh, seventy centimeters HF, right, and all the modes: uh, digital, FM, AM, SSB. Ready. That's really neat because the FTMs, I think they're FTMs, the the, the ones that, that uh, Yesu sell, those two meter, uh, centi centi 70, centi 70 centimeter radios that are really nice, they have a nice little flat panel, they don't have uh, SSB on there. Why get this particular radio? My path for it was because of the June ARRL contest VHF UHF contest VHF contest right uh, I was really like not liking five watts with my aero antenna with my HT I was getting really really frustrated and I felt like you know everybody else not everybody but you know a lot of people were, were blasting me out so I thought why not find a radio that does that and then when field day came around I was like okay I, I got the I finally got a 7100. What can I do with it? And it turns out that um, any radio you have, 705, you know, 7300, 7100, even the FT-857, they all will have uh, some issue to it, right? And But the number one thing you should be more considered is the antenna. You got to have a great antenna if you're doing mobile. If you have a crappy antenna system, regardless of what radio you have, it won't it won't do you any good. So just keep that in mind when you do these type of um, systems. That the number one thing is the antenna, and I figured that out a long time ago. That if you don't have a good antenna, it's not going to work. Um, setting up at the moment is not that bad because I'll keep the case in the car um, when I uh, you know so that. I can have the radio. A lot of times I'll just take it back inside uh, so that uh, it won't disappear. Um, I think if I do set this radio up, uh, I think I'm just going to mount it. And then take just the control head. You know, that part definitely I'm going to take inside. Um, is this the radio that I want? I don't know yet. Um... It has a nice features. Like I said, the number one feature that I really like is the SWR, the recording. Those those are really nice. Um, and then it, you can plug in the headphones. Uh, but the price point, I don't know if I like the price as much. It's um, I bought it. <laughs> don't don't get me wrong. I bought the radio. Uh, it was uh, nine twenty five. I think it was less expensive three years ago. This radio in particular, they're having problems making it. They're going to have to, you know, source some other chips. And then they're going to have to um, send it, send this to the FCC to get it re-verified or something. Um, you know, 
my thought was the 7100 wasn't going to do that great compared to the 705 or 7300. I was wrong. 705, 7300, those weak signals, I can, I can, I can sort of get. This radio, those weak signals are a little bit harder to work on, but not impossible. Um, the waterfall in the 705, 7300 is awesome. Uh, and there's a lot more software defined radio is, is, is just has a different feel. And then you can, you can tell ICOM is really kicking butt with that radio, you know, um, 991A is really nice. It's not that expensive. It has all the features, but the waterfall is just not there. Cause if I had one, uh, if you're looking for those, those two radios, I recommend the 7300. Not because everybody has one, it's because it, the interface is, is nicer. It's like comparing DOS and Windows, you know. Um, the, 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 the interface in Windows is way better than DOS, even though one was on top of the other one a long time ago. Um, I think I'm going to look into another radio. I'm going to look into the FT857 and see how that <clears throat> works mobile. Why? I think um, putting it into context, really thinking about this, um, the number one thing for POTO activations is that you're going to be sitting on a frequency and people are coming to you. And so you're going to be listening to people. They're going to be strong signals, weak signals, regardless. It's not the other way around. It's not like I'm transmitting out there, you know, for them and trying to break in uh, using an IC705 at 5 watts. And there's a lot of people like piling up. There's no way I'm going to break that up. Except <laughs> for if I say park to park. And if, if they hear me, I can break through. And that's, that's one advantage that you have when you're at a park. You can say park to park. And then regardless of, almost of what radio you have, you can... You can you know, cut the line. And so that's what I'm thinking, that do you have to have the latest and greatest radio technology mobile when you're doing POTA? Probably not. Although it would be nice if the 7100 was a software-defined radio. Um, I don't mind. I don't care if it is in color or not, but a waterfall and giving me giving me that, that data that I usually get on the on the 705 and the 7300. Now, why not use a why not use a 7300? You know, yes, I've have used a 7300, but that's a beast. You know, taking it out, putting it back in, um, you know, carrying it back and forth. It's just a it's just a hassle. And having the 7300, it's not like I can put it in the front, right, and be like, okay, I'm going to use it now the radio I mean there's a bunch of wires coming out of it. it's pretty fat um, heavy and uh, it's not discreet <laughs> it's not discreet the 7100 is more discreet and I just take off the head and I just take it with me and it weighs a lot less so again there's advantages and disadvantages um, you know at this point I think you know um, I'm 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 definitely liking it more than the 705. But again, the FT857 might be another radio that might be okay to use because the and I think I mentioned this already, the the 7100 is $900 a used um 857 if you're lucky, 650 or below. I got lucky that I got mine for 650 um so some sometimes they're out there they're like unicorns <laughs> um you know there i remember there's a there's a video that i watched a few years ago some dude that said the 7300 was going to devastate the used market that everything will be cheap no that's not the case he didn't factor in two things one or maybe three one the worldwide you know uh, virus that came around that that was one problem uh, two because of it the the chip 
uh, shortages and that increase in the price on certain radios. And then three, I think, I think he forgot that, you know, people would like radios. They like to keep their radios and sometimes they don't like to sell them. Um, it's incredible. You go on eBay, you can't find the 7100, you know, at a very reasonable price. Neither can you in many of the radios. So, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why that's the case. Maybe there's, maybe there's, uh, there's a reason. And if you have a particular reason why uh, these things are more um, higher priced, these used radios, please tell me. But I think that's going to be the next thing. I'm going to try the FT A57, see how that rolls. Um, and I already know there's already some issues with that radio. But for now, 7100, I'm really liking it. You have one, you can use it for POTA, that'll be awesome. I think you're going to like it too. Okay, there's probably more to talk about. There's a lot more that I want to uh, want to say. I hope this video was sort of useful if you're considering uh, a 7100 for mobile. I know there's a lot more things that I probably forgot to mention. Just put it on the comments below and I'll try my best to answer those. Um, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Thank you for the super thanks uh, for those who have uh, um, donated uh, uh, money. I've already used all that money on my Tar Hill antenna. I really appreciate it. That that was that was that was fun. That was that was awesome. Um, okay, uh, have a great day, and I hope to hear from you soon. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie. Zero Oscar. Bye bye.